in the end, a very good 3-2 victory into the next round of the competition. How pleased is everybody in the changing room to have, to have got through? Yeah, well, we had the goal to go next round and, um, yeah, we did it at the end, job done. And I know it was on the 23, um, young guys, good players. And yeah, they show us that um, they can play some good football, make it difficult for us. And yeah, but at the end of the day, we are all pleased that we did the job, even that it was difficult. It was a very entertaining game, so I understand here watching it. Do you get a great benefit from coming up against different styles, different players, these kind of kids that have come through the academy? Well, I'm used to, to those type of players normally, type of game playing. Um, well, football is about winning, so you can be as good you want, and if you don't win at the end, you don't win anything. So we did our job, and that's it. Fair credit to the young lads from United. They did some. They play some amazing football. So yeah, we we did our part. So we keep ahead. You're playing for a team that's won its fair share of matches. You're certainly in good form. Eight games unbeaten in all competitions. As a player who's not been starting. How big an opportunity is it to come into the team and get 90 minutes tonight? Well, for me personally, I say a big, massive thanks to the coaching staff giving me this opportunity to play again because for one and the last one and a half year, I haven't been playing a game for full 90 minutes. And today I had this opportunity and for, to, 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 to play 90 minutes. And I'm very thankful. And yeah, you look, we are a team together. We win and we lose together. And everyone who is staying at the back, can support the team should do because the lads that are on the pitch need the, the pressure from the lads that are not on the pitch. So and we have a great team that everyone wants to play for sure. Yes, that's what the Gaffa uh, did today, giving opportunities. And yeah, our goal was to win, and that we did it. How important is that that atmosphere amongst the players in the changing room? The, the fact that you all get on so well, you've all got the same kind of aim and the same goal. And if you're not playing. Is just as positive as the guys who are out there playing. Well, it's about respecting each other, you know. It doesn't matter you're playing uh, and the lads that is not playing. We we try we try to communicate as good as much to, with each other. We try to keep each other as ones, and that's uh, very important. And I think uh, you can see every week what the team what the uh, team is performing out there. So it's not. Uh, easy normally to have a team like we have but we are a group of players that wants to win something and we try hard as we can and yeah at the moment it's going good for us and you should keep going like this is this competition a real realistic prospect of winning the trophy you're not too many wins away from getting to the final and, and league one clubs obviously are the, the top clubs in this competition well it's, it's it's a competition where there's something to win so if there's something to win you have to go for it and try to win it and if there's not something to win, then there's no point playing. So we're in the competition. We win one round through and yeah, next round we want to win it. It doesn't matter how difficult it's going to be. We take the opportunity and we'll go for it. You mentioned personally first 90 minutes for quite a long time. Yeah. How much are you enjoying the opportunity to be here in Accrington? And how tough has it been not playing football regularly? Well, it's very, it's very tough, but I have to say I'm in an excellent team. So. Um, we play very much 11-11 in training. Um, we have a fantastic coaching staff that encourage those players that need minutes to keep you on shape, do extra work with you. So, and yeah, to be fair play, I got my chance today to play again, to have those minutes in my bones. And I'm very thankful for the whole team and also for the staff to give me the opportunity. Obviously, played in Germany, came through at Liverpool, played in, in Holland. Have you been surprised by how good League One has been and the coaching <laughs> staff and the play in here? Well, League One, I, I to to be honest, like I left uh, I left England 2014 has improved a lot. Um, yeah, but it's a good level, and I'm very proud to to be honest to be in a club like this with a group of player and coaching staff. So, and. Me personally, even that I don't play week out, I'm very proud to be part of this group. So I can prove myself in the group and yeah, that's where I'm going for. And there's a lot, just finally, there's a lot of young players in there. A lot of lads on loan from, from clubs who've been down that path that you went down at, at Liverpool and coming through the ranks and young players coming through here at Accrington. More experienced guys like yourself, how important can you be for their development to kind of help young players improve? Well, just tell them to keep working, you know, and uh, if I look back now, before this game, I didn't play for 11 games, so it was also a blow for me, but 
I keep working, I keep working, I keep working, and the day comes today where I can have a 90 minutes, and that's, I'm very thankful. And for the young lads, it's the same. They just have to keep working and stay calm, you know. Football is, you, you have your own time when it's going to come, and if you're young, you're going to get the time. If you're getting old, you have to work harder to get the time. <laughs>